How can we facilitate for political empowerment when our learning sessions are online? First of all, we need to be aware of digital security. Are we meeting and discussing in a safe online platform? We don't want someone to be able to listen in. For political empowerment, using participants' own context and experience is essential. And meeting online should force us even more to use it as part of the training. We do that by giving them tasks and assignments they can do before, in between or after the sessions. They can do tasks alone, but it's even better if they can do tasks or projects together in smaller groups. Let me mention some of the tools you can use online to facilitate the process of making young people aware, analyze, act and become empowered. Experiences are often better understood and felt through stories. You can use case studies such as video clips from documentaries, articles or use participants' experiences by, for example, having them prepare and share their story. You can also ask a participant to make a short video about their own experience or having them interview someone else. To analyze, you can still use different power analysis tools, but you have to be creative to find ways to make them useful online. Usually you might just use a flip chart or move around in a room, but online you can draw your model into a Google slide and fill it out with online post-its in groups. Participants can do research online or do research and analyze data before a session. For example, if they have conducted interviews before the sessions, they can discuss their findings now online. Acting and challenging power structures can also be done both online and offline by writing blogs, doing social media posts or by organizing online events. Therefore, in order to empower our participants, we need to also give them tools to organize online and offline so they can meet and discuss outside the training sessions themselves. An example could be a digital TOT. It can also be helpful to establish signal groups or telegram groups for them to connect. So to sum up, political empowerment is also possible online, but you need to be creative, adjust your tools and make participants learn from their own context and use the experiences they have from their own lives.